Keith, really difficult day. What do you make of that one? It's a difficult day because at the moment we can't defend. That's really the, the crux of it. Um, we, we can't defend individually, we can't defend as a unit and we can't defend as a team. And, and that's really the story of the game. You, you take the three goals out of the equation, which you obviously can't because it has a massive impact on the game. But up until the first goal, there wasn't much in the game. I thought we was OK. I thought our shape, um, it was two teams competing. I wanted us to be a little bit more aggressive, but you can understand us being a little bit tentative because there's a lack of confidence. But um, one bit of good play, you could say, a bit of quality. Uh, it looked handball from the, uh, the long pass, but whether it was or not, um, they didn't give it. Um, and within two passes, the ball's in the back of the net. And when you're on the run that we're on, that has a massive impact on the confidence and the belief of the team. Um, but at half-time, I, I felt that there was nothing in the game between the two teams. We had opportunities in dangerous areas without really looking like scoring. Um, but we, we got into good areas. Amari was, was dangerous at times down the left. Um, so at half-time, I was obviously disappointed to be 1-0 down, but I didn't think we deserved to be. And, um, and again, when you look at the two goals, I've looked at the two goals. They've not had to do much to cut through us, and um, they're just too easy. The goals are too easy, so you can talk about everything else, but um, it's, there's a lot of work to do. When we had the good run, it was because we kept clean sheets. And um, is it the shape? Well, we kept the clean sheets for the back four. Yes, the back four's changed a lot, which doesn't help. Um, you've got a lot of young defenders in there learning the game, which is difficult when you're on a bad run. But all, the good run was based on clean sheets. I think we conceded two goals in six games. Um, now we concede in two or three a game, and that's that's not good. That that's heading for trouble um, because when you're in a relegation fight, the basics are you keep a clean sheet and. It's just not ability, it's not just because you're young or you're new to the club. It's a mindset as well. It's, it's really putting your body on the line. How much does it hurt when someone beats you in a 1v1? How much does it hurt when someone scores against you? And if it doesn't hurt, then, then you're in trouble. So I've got a lot of work to do because the, all we have to think about now is how, as a team, we keep a clean sheet. And if you do that, you'll win games. And that's what we did earlier when I was here. Somehow, um, with a new group of players, we've got to try and get them tactically, technically, but more, more importantly, the mindset of trying to keep a clean sheet. I mean, the untrained eye, it looks like a complete lack of concentration at really key moments. And all of a sudden, the opposition are through and scoring goals against us. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's... None of the goal. You could say the, fir the first goal is, is a, a good bit of quality. It's a touch and a finish. Um, but the, the second two goals are poor defending individually and as a team. So it's my responsibility as a manager um, that I've got, I've got to sort this out. I've got to try and think of a way. Um, we've got a week now to try and think of a way of setting the team up that is going to be hard to beat keep a clean sheet but it's, it's more the mentality it, it really is so they kept going um, of course the heads drop I mean when you get when teams go bang bang against you you know the game's over um, so then it's difficult um, they, they, they kept trying um, but uh, yeah no we, it's it's obvious it's obvious what we need to do um, obviously not as easy to do as in putting it right because this run now it's just far too many goals. It's an obvious question. It's a blunt question. Are the players in that dressing room who can fix things defensively so that it gives us the platform to work from? Well, they have to be because that's all we've got. It's, it's, that's, I mean, we've picked up injuries to three key, play, three key defenders. Um, but every club has injuries. Um, we've brought players in um, and they've got to step up. They've got to learn very quickly show a desire 
Um, I, I try and help them, as in my coaching, uh, the organisation, the setup of the team. But when they go out on the grass, it's it really matters that if you're up against someone, you've got to get the better of them. And at the moment, we're second best too many times, and every time we are second best, we get punished. How much of a concern is it, Keith, that we're talking about this mindset almost week on week at the moment during what is an absolutely horrible run for us? Yeah, it's difficult, and um, I'm trying everything I can to um, give them confidence, encourage them. Um, you can't have a blame culture around the club, but there has to be an ownership to it as well that it's not acceptable. And um, players have said things in the dressing room, um, but it's more the actions, isn't it, rather than the words. So, yeah, somehow we've got to get that mentality, that siege mentality, that the next game we are not going to concede a goal. You don't sugarcoat this. You come out and you talk very openly about what the, the deficiencies are. Are you getting that in the dressing room? Are you getting the response to that, that your honesty, that yes, we're going to do this? Well, they need to be, because if you're not honest and you can't look at yourselves, then, then you, you shouldn't be playing football. Um, no one means to make a mistake, no one means to get beat. Um, but it's an education, certainly for the younger ones, that the reality is that we are in a fight and times of your career, I've had plenty of times in my career when in a, in a relegation battle and you learn to harden up and toughen up. And if there's not enough of them in there that are going to do that, then we're in trouble. Now I have to, my job is to try and make sure there is enough in there and um, I don't, I'm not faulting their effort, I mean they, they are trying but we are um, too easy to score against and that's my job I have to put right. I know you heard this bit, the looking at the table bit, but the fans out there, they are concerned, what do we say to them to, to let them know that we're going to be okay? Well, the, the, the league table will take care of itself, I mean I, I don't talk about the league table, um, I talk about the performance and What's concerning for me is, is the performances as in how easy it is for the opposition to score against us. So if you don't put that right, the league table isn't going to look good. If you put that right, when we had to run of six games with two goals against, the league table will look a lot different. So we've somehow got to get that mentality back, that belief, because up until the first goal, like I say, against a good side, there, there was nothing in it. I thought we... We looked quite positive. I thought we was trying to be aggressive. Um, we, we know we're not particularly physical at times in the 1v1s. We need to get better at that. Um, the second balls and things like that. But I could see him trying to be competitive. But as soon as the first goal goes in, you can see the confidence sap away a little bit. And then obviously the next two, it's, it's game over. How patient can you be as you wait for the lads to get the response that you're asking for from them? <clears throat> um, well, I have to I have to look at them in the face on Monday and say, listen, it ain't good enough. We, we've got to put it right. And then it's, we've got to work hard on the training pitch. Um, whether they have to get angry, nasty with each other, they're, they're not that type of group. They're a, a, a nice group. But um, they realise that we're on a bad run. It's, it's, it's obvious we are. Um, and, uh, yeah, we, we have to just really work hard and... Um, if, it needs to, if we need to get angry and realise that we've got to really fight for our lives on Saturday, then that's what we've got to do. Credit to the fans. I mean, there are some pointed comments. There's bound to be. There are some barbed comments coming from them because they're, they're worried. But by and large, they're sticking with these boys through the 90 minutes. You've got to be pleased with that. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand the frustrations of the fans. Like, you don't want to come, especially <coughs> when you're on a bad run like we are. Um, so that's, I mean, they're quite entitled to voice their opinion. They pay their money, they support the club. Um, so there's no problems there. It's it's our own fault that they're not happy, and that we have to stand up and put it right. And it's, you can't hide away from it. And I, I didn't feel like we did today, um, but the goals just changed the game. And if we score the first goal, then you've got to, something to hold on to, and you've got that siege mentality. But at the moment, we haven't got that. I know you look, you look for a settled side. It, it's actually the key to a good run, isn't it? You've got a settled side, players start to play and, and understand each other. How difficult is it to get a settled side during a run like this? It is, and, and you, you have to be very careful that you're always trying to find the right answers. 
and if you keep chopping and changing, um, I've been there before, you, you lose any sort of direction or understanding to what you're doing. So you have to be very careful that you don't just keep changing every week, every week, trying to come up with an answer, because that's really what you're, you're doing, aren't you? As a manager, you're trying to come up with a solution. Um, <clears throat> but I've got to think of a way of getting this team to defend better. And really, whether it's a change of formation, <laughs> I don't think the formation is the problem. It's the the mindset that um, we have to try and change. What's it like for you, Keith, to live and breathe a run like this? How, how much do you hurt through the week when you've you've, you've had a run like this? Well, you you do live and breathe it. It's constantly um, on your mind. Um, I, mean, I, I I've had tough times in my career, but I've always fought. And it's hard when you can't go out and actually fight yourself. So. Um, I've never shied away from a fight and um, a battle, so I know I'm ready for it. Um, and somehow I've got to make sure this group is sort of going to come with me. And um, I, I live and breathe football um, every day and try and come up with solutions. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not going to say it's a reality check because this is a bad run, but um, the reality is we have got to stop conceding goals. We've got to dig deep and do it now, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, no, it's the starting block is a clean sheet, and if you come away from Orient with a nil-nil, then at least you look like a team that's ready for the fight. You keep conceding two or three goals, then you've got no chance. It's